Warren Buffett once said, never depend on a single income. Make an investment to create a second Hi. source. In this video, I'll be speaking about how to increase your ROI on a property. Is Lives, Big Consultant GPOs. What is ROI, you might want to ask? ROI is return on investment. That is the profit you get by not the investment capital that you put in the business or in the investment. Having a strong ROI on an investment property is highly essential. In fact, it is the only reason why people are going in investment to get return on investment, profit on investment. Attaining a strong ROI on your property can be a major key that can make you a next generation. When you want to make an investment decision, you first consider your return on investment. Your ROI first will be paramount in your mind. What this means is that most of the times, investors always foremost consider ROI any investment in invest their return on investments but to have a strong roi you must be smart and proactive and also have the gift of foresight in other words you need to be someone who can identify opportunities miles away carry out due diligence even when all seems well be a strong risk in the ongoing economic situation in Nigeria, real estate investors are mostly concerned about their capital security. Here are a few ways to improve the returns on your property. Number one is that you have to research the market. In terms of capital gains and income, property investment has paid off handsomely for many people. But you must also go into it with your eyes open, acknowledging the pros and cons. If you know someone who has invested in a property, either commercial, ask them about their experiences, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and learn from it. Two, tenant factor. A big time tenant or several tenants with long term leases residing on your property with terms and agreements that are favorable, all especially, and a possibility of a fixed yearly rental increase can be the ultimate deal to boost your return on investment. The kind of tenants you let out your property to is equally important. So therefore, you should adopt a method or procedure that ensures you rent out your property to reputable tenants. Carrying out due diligence on prospective tenants to ensure that they are capable of paying their rent on time and they are not potential problem tenants. If you can't effectively carry out such a tax, you can employ the service of a property manager. Three, location. It's all about doing your homework and understanding the market you are buying in. It is common knowledge that commercial properties in major urban cities tend to come at a higher price. However, that doesn't mean that strong returns cannot be achieved. But compared to the urban area, you definitely know that getting a very huge return on your investment. Look at Ikoyi, VI, Lekki. Lekki all the way to Shongo Tedo, Aoyaya. Landlords over there are making good return on their investment. That's, I can tell you for free. But to add to that, you can also choose a promising location. Promising does not mean that it's cheap or it's not expensive. Promising means a place where people would like to live. And this can be for several reasons. Some cases, people tend to invest in a property close to where they live as they are more likely to know this market better anywhere else. And they can easily spot the kind of property and location that will do well. Also, location is not only a yastic. They have a much better chance of keeping tabs on the property to achieving return on investment. It goes hand in hand with its ability to identify and utilize the opportunities available due to your due diligence and risk that you have taken or you are going to take. Number four, which is risk. Different types of commercial properties fall in and out of favor with the real estate market. It is up to you to have enough courage so you can get great return on your investment. Number five, improve the property. The better the property is maintained, the more tenants it will draw and lower your chances of vacancy, low turnover. Respond quickly to maintenance needs and do what you can to anticipate maintenance problems before they arise. 
If it entails remodeling or redesigning the house, kindly do so. Last but not least, keep accurate books. You need accurate financial statements if you want to be aware of how profitable your investments are and to tell you where you are lagging. Accurate records keeping can help you get a better loan or mortgage, giving more cash flow and it can also show that you are a good risk taker even if you are looking to purchase more properties. And that is how you can increase your ROI on a property. Thank you for watching. Linga Philip saying, see you in another video. Bye for now.